Hi guys and welcome to this week's Josh's vlog. Um, I'm going to do a sort of thought for the week type thing this time. It's going to be um, quite short, uh, but it's just something that I've kind of been thinking about and um, kind of like I want is something to kind of ponder over. And it's about the kind of remembering what Jesus did for us. Uh, the gospel story about Jesus dying and then raising again for us is an incredible story and one that as Christians we, we are called to and should remember on a daily basis. But that can be really tough. So my kind of thought for the week is how can we use the template of communion to remember what Jesus did every single day? Now, communion is something set out in the Bible and something that we do as a church um, where we drink wine and we have bread. And that is a point of remembering how Jesus died for us. But when Jesus did it in the Bible, he was doing it at a meal table. And I think um, what we can do this uh, or use this as a template to remember what Jesus did every day of our lives. You see, Jesus chose bread and wine. And bread and wine would have been the staples of every meal back then. They would have had bread and wine at all, if not most, um, of their meal times. And I think this is why Jesus chose them. He wants us to remember these every day, but he knows that's difficult and he wants to give us something to remind us. So actually, almost what he's saying with this communion is every time you sit down and have a meal, or every time you eat and drink, remember him. Because we don't necessarily have those things anymore that we would eat at every mealtime. We don't always have bread and, and we have different drinks. So it's a, it's a bit more difficult for us to see that. But it, what it means is every time we sit down to eat or drink, especially when we're with people, that's the point each day that we should remember what Jesus did for him. And it's not about ticking a box. Yes, I remembered him. It's about being consciously aware every day that Jesus sacrificed his life for us and died on a cross and then rose again that we might live and live in freedom.